what's up you guys it's grace here so this week's video i decided to do a full glam makeup tutorial so going in with green concealer i'm covering up any kind of redness i see and then i'm going in with the maybelline fit me the dewy foundation and it is in the shade 230 natural buff if you guys want to know my shade number because that's cool and then while i was blending it out with my real technique beauty blender i decided to go on snapchat and that is my snapchat on the screen if you guys want to follow me on there then i went in with the elf primer and it's really really pretty i really loved it and then i'm going in with the laura mercier palette and going in with the color african violet which is a really really pretty purpley goldish color and i really really liked it i think it works well with all different kind of eye colors and skin tones and then i went ahead and put it under my eye as well and then this is definitely a color you guys have to build up and it takes a little bit of time to work with but once you work with it it's perfectly fine and then going in with the shade deep night and this was a very very scary color to work with it's definitely something you have to blend out a lot and carve out and basically do everything to to make it pretty because it's a very dark navy blue but kind of blackish color I really don't know how to explain it but it's really pretty and then I went in with the L'Oreal LA Palette Nude 1, and I went in with the golden color, and I really, really liked it. I put it on the middle of my lid so that it could create a highlight. Then I went back in with the black, because honestly, it's definitely something you want to build up. And then I decided to go back in with the African Violet color, and just keep building up all my colors, basically. So at this point my camera basically cut out, but what I was doing was I was basically just building up all my colors and then I used the golden color again as my inner highlight. And then I'm deepening up my colors again because I'm great and so I like deep colors. And then I went ahead with the Real Texan Beauty Blender again and carved everything out and cleaned everything up because trust me with this you are going to need it. And then I went in with another concealer, something that was very close to my skin tone, but a little lighter, and I went ahead and created the shape I wanted for my eyeshadows, which this is actually amazing if you guys do it. And then I went in with my eyeliner because honestly, no look is finished without Grace's eyeliner. And I decided to leave the full clip in without like cutting anything out because I do get a lot of questions on how I do my eyeliner because apparently people really really like it which makes me feel very good about myself. Then going in with my holy grail, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Pomade in the shade Ebony. This is amazing. If you guys ever get the chance to get it, I definitely suggest you do. But I definitely do understand that it is kind of a little bit expensive for just an eyebrow thing and not everyone's able to get it. But a very good dupe for that is definitely the e.l.f eyebrow kit. Let me tell you, I used that a ton before I was actually able to get my hands on this baby. Then I went ahead and sculpted out my eyebrow and then added a highlight from the Mary Kay at Play Sunset Beach palette. And then going ahead and curling my eyelashes to get them ready for the mascara. And this is the Last Sensation mascara from Maybelline and I just think Maybelline has the best mascaras ever. So then going in with a cream contour, I am really, really going to contour my face because, I mean, why not? And I'm contouring my nose as well. Then after I'm done putting on my cream contour, I will go back in with the Real Texting Beauty Blender and blend that all out. The next I'm going to be using Maybelline's Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Light to go ahead and highlight under my eyes and everywhere where you really highlight. And then I'm going to be using ELF's Moisturizing Lipstick in the shade Ravishing Rose and this is the best lipstick and it's so pretty and I love it.